Next news, out of India, blood for the first night. Amazon is selling a product to fake virginity and people can't digest it. So, okay, I actually looked into this. In in other Amazons, not Amazon.com or UK, but um, in like India, they are selling a product that you can take, women can take these pills, uh, and it makes it look like they're bleeding after sex. So, um people just can't understand why anyone would want to do that uh and it basically boils down to how sad you know certain societies are where women are absolutely expected to be virgins on their wedding night um and if they're not they can fake it now so um shivam what do you think about this wow uh, this this news just proves how fucked up this society is like uh I mean, it's, uh, it's like so, I don't know what to say. <laughs> and, this is okay, in so, India. This is Amazon India specific. Yeah, right? Amazon.in. Wow. Okay. And so I mean, it's, you, you want to show yeah. that you're a virgin, basically. That's what you're doing. Yeah, it's like, it's like expected of women to be virgin on wedding, like, like Ali mentioned. And... It's like, uh, okay, so like I was saying earlier, like sex, the, the topic, the concept of sex is a taboo in India, which is an irony because considering the huge population, sex is the thing that most people engage in. And the, the only thing that most people engage in is a freaking taboo in the society. That's, that's an irony of the next level. And I mean, even if you ask people uh, in India, they'll say like, oh no, boys can't, okay, even even boys having sex is kind of looked down upon, but it's not as bad as girls having sex. Right. Okay. So if, if it's like, okay, boys can have sex maybe before marriage and stuff, uh, even if someone accepts that, uh, many, most people will be like, oh no, 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 girls can't have sex. I mean, just the other day, I was talking to a girl and she was like, oh, no, we girls cannot have sex. We need to stay virgins. And I'm like, OK, how are you supposed to achieve that unless boys are having gay sex with each other? How are girls supposed to remain virgin? No, so the difference, I think, is and you guys could let me know what, um, if if I'm looking at this correctly. Or not. But I think the mentality is when boys are having sex before marriage, they're just doing something wrong and that's bad, right? But when the girls are um, having sex before marriage, it's, it's beyond doing something back. They now use property, right? So women are, when you marry a woman in, more, in a lot, most societies, it's still, it's still kind of like a purchase between the father and the son, the father and the husband, right? So it's kind of like the husband, the new husband is taking a property away from the father and it's now his property. And if the if the girl had sex before marriage, you just it's kind of like buying underwear that was used before you purchased it. You know what I mean? It's that's how it's looked at, right? So it's kind of like women are treated like property, and this is a used product. It's broken. Like it's it's why are why are you giving me something where? So when men had sex before marriage, it's not it's not like some it, it, the fact that women had sex some other woman had sex with her doesn't really change his body right there's nothing her body was changed the, the, i don't have her stink on me anymore at all right i did something to her she didn't do something to me i did something to her right i put something on her but when when a woman has sex before marriage there's something it's in 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 those societies in the minds of men this and and women as well there's something fundamentally changed about her she's she, there's something uh, you know virginity the virginity of men that being broken doesn't that doesn't really change something about his body but when virgin, they they think that the virginity of women when that is broken there's something significantly changed about her right and that's why they see her as something used. That's why women are often compared to chewed gum or a, a, or a candy that was 
its wrapping was over and there's bugs sitting all over it and now would you want to lick that now if if, if you had a candy um you know a candy that its wrapping was open and was left and with all these bugs lying all over it but men are never compared to that men that had sex before marriage they never they are never compared to chewed gum right why is that because i do, i they think like men that have sex before marriage nothing significantly has changed about them right so this nation of purity is most is reserved for women and the fact that i i think the whole idea of the hymen being broken and all that that just supports that idea that well look when men when men are have have sex uh, a, a man you cannot there's no way physically to detect the difference between a man that had sex before marriage and a man that hasn't had sex before marriage but for a woman in their mind again this is not accurate because there's other ways for you like you could you know with extreme sports and you know whatnot but for a woman there's something physically that you could identify uh, a woman that has sex before marriage and a woman that hasn't had sex before marriage and that that physical difference for them they translate that to a more spiritual difference, a more significant spiritual difference as well, right? Uh, even though the physical difference is so insignificant, for them, that just proof of the spiritual difference as well, which is a lot more significant. What do you guys think about what I just said? Do you think that's right? Yeah. Uh, I, in, in, I in think, family. but can I add something really quick, okay, Shubham, yeah. before you continue? I'm so sorry. I, I made a mistake, so I just want to correct it as soon as possible. Yeah. It is a pill, but it's not a pill that you uh, digest. You actually have to uh, stick it about finger deep in the vagina two to four hours before you do the deed. Oh, yeah. That's actually a good correction because actually you're, it's, it's weird that I, did, I didn't question that because how, how could you take a pill that makes you bleed out of your – wow. Well, you was, can take a pill that makes it appear that you've um, no, been no, bleeding. But there, it makes more sense that you have to stick it up there because, because – Wait, you're and it, that makes more sense. Yeah, because... sure. Because the other pill that you have to take that can actually simulate your right. um, fluids being red, uh, that lasts for a couple of days. So that would kind of give you away. Um, but this, yeah, just fake blood. Okay, Shupam, you wanted to say something? Yeah, just like you said, in Indian families, most mm -hmm. families, uh, women are like prized possessions. Uh, in the article, they have used the word uh, women are the family's izzat, which literally means reputation or prestige. So the women are like the prestige of the family. A woman uh, is not a virgin, which means the prestige and the reputation of the family is lost or tainted. And that's kind of stuff. Like, that's why, I mean, uh, the woman who has had sex once and not in her married life, She'll be branded uh, unsanskari lurki, which literally means uh, uncultured, a cultureless girl, or like uh, that kind of stuff. I mean, so is this so against the Indian culture? So is this Indian culture, or is this Hinduism, or is there any difference? What What if people say this is not Hinduism? What would you respond to that? Uh, this is found in many religions, and yeah, it is Hinduism because. Uh, even in Hinduism, women are like possessions. In uh, okay, so people are uh, always like Hindus are always like, okay, the Gita is the most sacred stuff about Hinduism and everything. The most sacred text in Hinduism, mm. and I, I don't think any Hindu would deny the Gita, even if they deny some other form of text. Okay, so the what it is said that Gita was uh, the words in Gita are said by Krishna and this guy. Shabham? Did we lose Shabham? Shabham, we need you really ba back really for this. But I remember there, there's being a um, text in Hindu uh, scripture about one of the gods, and I'm not going to go towards her uh, in her name. I, maybe that was with uh, Shabham. We were got... like molested or something like that. Shabham, yeah. you got disconnected. Can you repeat that? Which one of the stories in the Gita supported this? Okay, I was not exactly seeing the uh, story, but like uh, the author, like it is said that uh, the words in the Gita are by Krishna and he was like a playboy and also he used to molest girls in his youth. Okay, and he's often cheered by many people. Which guy? Which like, guy was this? Uh, Krishna. Krishna. And w so the, uh, Krishna was a playboy, but which god yeah. was it that uh, when his wife was accused of sleeping with another god? 
uh, Krishna, for his for the sake of saving embarrassment, uh, turned her away, like abandoned him, abandoned her from her from his house. Okay, okay, that's not exactly by another god. That's the story from Ramayana. Uh, okay, so okay, so uh, with another mythical creature. Okay, but which yeah, god? It's, which it's god? just the previous incarnation of Krishna. Pre- which what was his name at that time? Ram. Ram. Okay, so Ram, his his love was accused of sleeping with somebody else, right? And Ram didn't even know if this was true or not. But for the sake of... But because people were talking about it, he abandoned her. Is that correct? Oh, not not just abandoned her. Hmm. He made her walk on fire. Wow, okay. So this whole purity culture is... And this is a one of the foundation texts in Hinduism, right? Like, this is not one of... That's is, Ramayana. Every, every Hindu acknowledges that. He, this That's is Ramayana. something, this is like, because a lot of Hindus are like, oh, Hinduism is not the same, you know, not one thing. There's many different things. This is this is one of the foundation parts. Like, if you deny this part as part of not Hinduism, then you're just throwing the whole thing out. Is that accurate? Yeah. Okay. Ramayana, every, so, every Hindu believes in Ramayana. So, this whole purity uh, culture does have a source. So, like, if Hindus are like, oh, no, this is based on British colonialism, or no, this is because of the Islamic empire that was brought to in- India. No. This is, the whole purity culture has its foundation in Hinduism. You have male gods that are playboys and sleeping around with as many women as they want, and they're celebrated. And you have a woman... It did the woman was a goddess as well, right? Wasn't she? Uh, she was. Uh, she was Sita. Okay, she was the wife of Ram. Right. So she was not even like it wasn't even. We. Do, she was just accused of. She didn't even sleep with somebody. Yeah. She was just accused of sleeping with somebody else, and she was made to walk on fire to prove her purity. Right. So and then the, banished. And after that, banished. Along with her kids, two kids. Okay, two kids. and th- even after proving her purity, didn't she? Yeah. So she, she walked, on, walked on fire. She walked on fire. She proved that she was pure, but just for the just to be safe, they have, they have banished her and her kid as well. So this is Hindu text, okay? Like guys, like I, so I don't know how Hindus are gonna defend this. Like maybe okay, look at the I mean another thing, mm. like the guy was speaking about Ram who banished uh, his wife for purity stuff. Hmm. This is the same Ram that BJP and other Hindu extremists worship in Jai Shri Ram. Right, right. Okay, this so is the same guy. So next time somebody says like, "Oh, Hinduism is not a religion; it's just a way of life." Don't criticize it. Tell them like, "Well, if it's a way of life, it's a it's a effed up way of life." Um, and by the way, saying something is a way of life doesn't mean they're not religions, because religions are a way of lives, and they are really backwards, barbaric, ancient ways of life that need to die. So yeah, Hinduism is a way of life, and it's a way of life that needs to end, and it's a way of life that needs to be ridiculed, it's a way of life that needs to be mocked, it's a way of life that needs to be called out, and it's a way of life that needs to end, okay? So, um, Ali, did you want to add anything? No. Okay. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.